What is up, everybody? Almost Evil 33 is here again with another Medal of Honor gameplay commentary for you guys. And this is my second video out of three in my weapon review mini series on my channel. In my first video, in case you didn't know, I reviewed the shotguns on Kandahar Marketplace. And I just kind of went over my uh, first impressions about them and then basically all of my thoughts about them. And I'm going to do the same thing with the light machine guns here. And my third and final video in this series is going to cover the F2000 and the P90. And maybe sum up my uh, opinions on the weapons of this game. But anyway, so here we're going to review the light machine guns, so let's get right to it. Alright, so my first impressions of the light machine guns. Well, I think they're oversized pieces of garbage. I think these things sometimes can drop people really quickly. And you'll be like, wow, these things are awesome. But then other times, you're shooting somebody, you empty half a clip into them, and they don't die. And you're just like, well, that was disappointing. Because, you know, with weapons like this... I think that it could be so much fun to use, and I mean, more importantly, in the uh, rifleman class, I like to have my grenade launcher, which I don't have if I use these things, but you know, everybody's like, oh, they make up for it because of their ammo count and everything, so I'm like, alright, whatever. But they don't make up for uh, their ammo count in their poor accuracy and poor consistency and the fact that you don't have a grenade launcher. That's a really big deal, if you ask me. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the grenade launcher in this game, considering you have to hit somebody head-on with it to kill them. But I don't think that really makes a difference. I mean, if you don't have an explosive, then this thing better be really good, and it's not. It can drop people on occasion, like right here. I pick off the sniper in the building, and it looks great, and you're like, wow, this M249 is a beast. And then you pour half a clip into somebody, and they don't die, and your opinions are totally different. That's what happened to me. And, basically, uh, right here in this game, I was doing pretty good. I was uh, spawn trapping the other team almost the whole game, and right there, I had that missile strike down, and somebody put down mortars on my team, and I could only get, like, two people. I was going to get, like, the whole team. I saw them all there. I was like, oh, yeah. And then I saw a mortar strike coming in. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And, like, I can't get any kills with the mortar strike, but other people can, I guess. So, anyway, back to the review. The, round, the clip size on these things is awesome. Obviously, they're belt-fed and 100 rounds in a clip, and that's really cool. But, like, I just find personally that these things do not drop people. They're very similar to the shotguns in the fact that sometimes they can be awesome up close. Sometimes they're terrible up close. Sometimes they're great at long range. Other times you can't kill anybody at long range. And they're just inconsistent, and I don't want a weapon that's inconsistent. I want a standard weapon that I could drop people with at fairly long range and fairly close range. And I think the M4 and the M16 are the only guns in this game that can cover that. And uh, their counterparts, the AK-47 and AK-74U. And as for the PKM, it's exactly the same as the M249. Some people say it's even weaker and it doesn't have, it's even worse than the M249, but I think it's exactly the same. I just like the sound of the M249 better and the look of it. So that's just preference. And right here I start to trap the other team and I just need 10 points to my airstrike and I'm just freaking out. I'm like, I need a kill right now. And I just had the feeling I was going to get sniped. And uh, you guys will see what happens. And like it took a while to get this gameplay. And I was really surprised when I was doing this. I was like, wow, I'm doing really good right now. I can't blow it and I get sniped. Yep, it's a cruise missile fail. I don't want to spoil it by putting it in the title this time. But yeah, this is a cruise missile fail in this review. Um, but I still got to put down my airstrike and took out, like, the whole team, so that was nice. Just no cruise missile, unfortunately. But it was still fun sp uh, spawn trapping them the entire game. After I put down this airstrike, you'll see I start to rain down my support actions again on them. So, you know what, that guy, that guy could snipe me all he wants. He's probably died, like, four times by now from me. So, basically, I love getting cruise missiles, but sometimes things just don't go your way. And I guess I had to uh, settle for spawn trapping the enemy team. Then it was still a lot of fun. So, that pretty much does it. Um, for my final thoughts about the LMGs, don't use them. There's way better weapons out there. I mean, they're not so bad that, you know, you'll never kill anybody with them, but they're just inconsistent, and I don't know. That's just my opinion. Maybe you guys have differing opinions, and that's cool with me. What do you guys think about the LMGs? Tell me in the comments below. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I went 42-1, and one, and it was a cruise missile fail. And, well, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up.
and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Medal of Honor 2010 content. And also, the next video is going to be my finale in this weapon review series where I'll cover the F-2000 and P-90. And after that, we're going to kick off the subscriber challenge series. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So keep giving me suggestions for that series. And uh, keep up the feedback because it really helps me out. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.